Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on this look right here. I really wanted to do a cool toned look using the Makeup Geek eyeshadows just because I love Makeup Geek and I'm excited about the rebrand. And I wanted to do something somewhat fall related, even though you could wear this look anywhere, any time of the year. It's just, I'm excited for fall, so here we are. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please subscribe and let's get started. I'm gonna prime with the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. I love this stuff. When I put it on, you'll be able to see how it kind of just like gives a really brightening effect to my skin. Looks so light right away when you put it on, but once it blends in, you can just see it has this illuminating brightening effect. For foundation, I really wanted to use the Dior Forever foundation. It's, this is the matte one and I have shade 1.5. I should go and get a darker shade. The only dark foundation I have right now is the Makeup Forever Reboot and I've just been using this so much. I'm kind of like tired of using the same foundation. So I'm gonna mix it with the Drunk Elephant Debronzy anti-pollution sunshine serum. I used to wear this just on its own when I would go to the gym because it'd be really fair and it just kind of gave me a little bit of color, but you can also use it to mix in with your foundations and make like a darker shade. I'm just mixing that together here and I'm gonna grab my favorite it Cosmetics number seven brush. And just pick that up and start working it in on the skin. Oh, I think that's gonna work. Oh, this stuff smells so good. I love this foundation. Kind of gives like a true medium coverage, but you can build it up to full and it gives just a really beautiful finish to the skin. I haven't worn it in months, but it's one of my favorite foundations, if not my favorite foundation ever. I did do my brows before I sat down and filmed today just because I feel like I've been doing them a lot and I've been using the same stuff. So I'll link my how to brow tutorial up above here in the card section so you can check it out if you're curious. I just used my Benefit products and I didn't use the Rimmel Wonderful Brow yet. I think I'm gonna do that after I do my eyeshadow. And then when I'm applying my foundation, I do everywhere. And then lastly, I do the nose just so there's not much product on here. It's just a light tint just to kind of even everything out. In my summer to fall makeup tutorial, you can see I put too much foundation on my nose and it looked crusty dusty. So that's just kind of like what I do for my nose area. Also, I do the same thing with my upper lip area. I don't touch that area until like the majority of the product is off my brush because otherwise it can tend to gravitate towards any little peach fuzz I have there and then give me a mustache. I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer in the shade 3.2. I recently tried this with the Beauty Blender Concealer, but I tried the shade 4.3 and it looked like orange on me. So I'm gonna try this today and hopefully the color works. It's a little warm. I'm gonna add just a touch of the Pat McGrath concealer just to neutralize that a little bit. Do you see the color difference there? How neutral the Pat McGrath one is in comparison? And I'm gonna use my Sigma FO3 brush to blend this in. I suppose I could have added that Drunk Elephant bronzer into this little concoction here. Just didn't think about it till just now, but I think this is actually gonna end up working out. All I wanna use is my Fenty Cream Bronzers, but I'm not gonna because I've been using them nonstop. I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics number no. seven brush and I'm gonna go into the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay Bronze Stick. The one I had before was really, really dirty because I use it all the time, so. I'm just gonna pick it up here on the brush and apply it right onto my face. I'm also gonna take a little bit on my finger and dab it on the nose. My hands are really warm right now, so it kind of just helps to melt the product into the skin. When my hands are cold, it doesn't work as well. I'm quickly just gonna set my face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and also right in the center of the forehead. Ooh, that was a lot of powder. I'm gonna use the Tom Ford Glow Bronzer in Terra. Looks like this, oh my gosh, the packaging is so dirty. And then I'm gonna use my double-ended hourglass brush. And I'm just applying this in a more broad area to bring just more life into my skin. And then I've been really loving the Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette. I like this because it has a million shades in here. So depending on where I'm at with the tan situation, I there's a color in here that's gonna work for me. So I'm probably gonna do Princess Cut mixed with Angle, these two shades, because Angle's pretty warm, Princess Cut's really cool, and I'm kind of like in the middle of tan and not so tan, so those should work. I'm gonna use the Smith 112 brush. And just lightly hit right here where I wanna contour and flick it up into the cheek, the sides of the forehead and the jawline. And then I drag that down. And then I also flick it up into the cheek just because I feel like it's very easy to add a lot of product in here and blend it down. But then sometimes you don't even notice it. But as you're like walking around, you have like this line here. 
I've been there. I just make a point to like flick it upwards as well, just so it's all blended. And sometimes it's still not, but that's okay. I'm very quickly just gonna contour my nose. You can skip this or you can go for it. Totally up to you. I'm also gonna bring a little bit of that contour around my lips. I really like this because I feel like it's kind of like overlining my lips with lip liner. It's like contouring your face, but for your lips. So this just kind of like makes that already look fuller and I didn't apply any lip products. It's just creating that shadow. Been really liking my MAC blushes. I think I'm gonna go in with peaches just because I know I wanna do a very cool toned eye look, like a smoky cool tone look. And I like putting a warmer blush on with cool toned eyeshadows just because I feel like it kind of warms it up just a little bit. I'm gonna use the Sigma F40 brush to apply my blush and I'm gonna use peaches from MAC. This one right here. I also bring it a little bit up onto the forehead, the nose, the chin, and then I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Fuego highlighter. This was in collaboration with Desi Perkins and Katie. I'm just gonna apply this to my cheekbones. I'll probably bring this into the eye look too later on. And the nose and the cupid's bow. I'm quickly gonna prime with the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. I just put it on with my finger. You can use a brush if you want to. Set with a little bit of powder. I've just been really loving using the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. It just reminds me of when I first started getting into makeup and started doing YouTube. Makeup Geek is one of the first brands I ever used for eyeshadow. So it just really gets me excited. So I think I'm gonna do something more cool tone today. It's very gloomy. It was sunny earlier, but it's very gloomy right now. Just kind of like a gloomy, it's a summer day, but I'm gonna say fall because I'm just ready for fall. So these are the shades here and I'm gonna just stick more in the cool tone range. This is Creme Brulee. It's one of my favorite shadows, probably my number one favorite shadow from Makeup Peak because you can use it for warm looks, cool looks. It's a very neutral, light brown shade. It really works for like any look. So I'm gonna be using Creme Brulee with a Smith 230 brush. I just placed an order to get more of these brushes because I only have one set of the Smith brushes and they're some of my favorite eyeshadow brushes. So, okay, so I'm just bringing this here in the crease, kind of just prepping the eye look here, mapping out the shape and get the underside. And I always like to kind of flick it outwards and create this like V shape. Even if I'm doing a more rounded effect, I just think that looks really flattering on the outer part. And I just kind of like slowly but surely build it up with the color. Still using the same creme brulee shade, but if you work in light layers, you can build up the color and make it look like you used a different eyeshadow just from layering and layering and layering. I'm gonna already start going in with some cooler toned shades. This is Beach Please from Makeup Geek. You can see it in comparison to the um, creme brulee shade. I'm gonna go into a rough for 14 brush and just start pushing this onto the outer corner and go back into the other brush and just kind of blend out the edges. Grab a little, little bit of Beach Please, mix it with creme brulee and pop that in the crease. I really wanna do a smoky look today and I think one of the tricks is to start really, really light like this. Like this could be a nice everyday look already, but say you wanna do like a really blacked out smoky eye, you wouldn't go in. Well, I mean, I guess you could. You could go in with black right away, but I prefer to go in with all of the shades underneath it first and then they'll kind of peek out behind all of the darker shades that you put on top and it'll be a lot easier to blend because it's a lot easier to blend out lighter shades than darker shades so if you did the light shades first you can completely blend those out before moving on instead of like say you put on too much dark eyeshadow and now you're trying to blend it out and it's going to blend around and get even darker and even smokier so this is just an easy way or in my opinion an easier way to do a smoky eye is to start light and move up to the darker shades. I'm gonna grab some espresso yourself. This is a very neutral brown. You can see next to Beach Please that it is a little bit warmer rather than cool. I think I'm just gonna use that same, do I wanna use that rougher brush? Yeah, I'm gonna use that same rougher brush and put it right here on the outer lid and outer V, which is this whole area here. And I'm going to avoid the crease as much as possible right at first, just because I don't wanna to apply too much product into the crease. I'm also making sure I tap off any excess product before putting it on my eyes so I don't get a lot of fallout around my eye. I did apply powder under here, some face powder. So if anything does fall out, I can just wipe it away, but still I make sure I tap off the excess so there's not like a bunch of excess product. I'd like to avoid wiping away any fallout as much as possible. I just grabbed a little bit of Beach Please to kind of blend out the edges here. I'm also gonna grab a little bit of 
creme brulee and add that in with it. Just on the edges to blend out the espresso yourself. I'm gonna bring that espresso yourself on the bottom lash line. I'm using a Sigma E15. And then I'm just gonna blend it out. Same brush, just with the creme brulee and beach please color. I actually, I go right on top of the darker shade. I don't bring that down too far because otherwise you can bring the deepness down like into the eye socket, which sometimes I'm in the mood for. This will subtly blend it out so that it doesn't get too overly smoky, but you have some darkness under there. It kind of just like diffuses the dark color, I guess, rather than blending it downwards. I wanna add like a chocolate and I wanna add like a purple. I'm gonna go into Chocolate Wasted and start deepening up the outer corners. This is a Wayne Goss number 20 brush. <sighs> I'm really tapping off the excess. And I'm just gonna start lightly pushing this in on the very outer lid. I'm grabbing just a little bit of Honey Badger here on a Smith brush, any kind of fluffy brush, and just hitting that in the crease. This is a very warm toned shade. Adding warm toned shades into a very cool toned look kind of helps it all to tie together and become slightly more wearable. And I think it makes the cooler tones pop even more. You see how this has way more, well, obviously it's got way more dimension because I just added that darker shade too, but I just feel like this comes to life a lot more than this side. You can definitely do a cool toned look without adding a warm toned shade, but I personally just love popping it in there for just a little, little something extra. Go back in with the first brush, blend all that out. I'm gonna bring a little bit of that honey badger right here on the lid. Do you guys remember that commercial? I think it was for like pistachios or something where he's like talking about being a honey badger. Every time I see the name of this eyeshadow, I think of that commercial. It was something like, just crack it or something like that. I need to leave here in a minute to go pick up my niece from school. We really wanna film a video together. So let me know what we should film. Maybe turning her into me. Um, I think actually today would actually be a pretty good opportunity to do that because I'm gonna have really dark dramatic makeup on and she doesn't usually do that on herself. Or we can get ready together and do our different like go-to routines or something. I wanna add a little bit of purpleiness to the look. So I'm gonna grab Give Me The Dirt which is a really dark brown, but it has some purpleiness to it. I'm gonna pick it up on a Sigma E15. And I'm gonna go right at the lash line and flick it up into the outer corner. And also carry this onto the lash line to about where like my eyeball stops, my eyeball stops, where my like the color of my eye stops. So it's gonna, Make this really bright here and then get darker and darker and darker and smokier on the outer corner. And just kind of stamp it and lightly flick it upwards. So it's thicker on the outer and very thin over here the closer in you get on the eye. Go back in with a fluffy brush, blend it in. I didn't mean to add another shade, but here we are. I'm gonna add a little bit of bitten into the look just because I think it really, you know what I mean, it just really made it look all sorts of put together. I'm just kind of tapping this here onto the eye, into the dark area. Give it that like smoldering berry look. I kept the inner part of the lid pretty blank. Going back in with Honey Badger and just going over all of the edges to make sure it's all completely blended. And now that the top is so smoky, I feel more comfortable blowing this out even more. So I think I'm gonna do this so you could see the difference that it ends up making. I'm coming directly from the bottom. My brush is straight up and down and not sideways. And I'm just wiggling this in. I'm like literally into my temple over here. Okay, back in the honey badger on this side. I always look up into the mirror so I can access the area better. I haven't had this smoky of a look on my face in forever. I can't find my Rimmel nude liner, so I'm gonna use this one from Essence. It's called Silky Nude. Ooh, I really like that. That is a little bit more cooler toned and brighter than the Rimmel one. However, I do feel like this one, you have to kind of like go over it a bunch of times. So if you're uncomfortable working in your waterline that much, then I would definitely suggest the Rimmel one. Of course, I found it after I already did this. But yeah, I'm glad I used this because I feel like this is borderline white, but it's nude. So it's just like a really, really, really light nude. And I feel like it really went well with the look. I am going to grab my Sigma Detailed Lip Brush, it's the LO4. I'm gonna go into the Fuego highlighter from Joseph Colors, Desi XKD collection, and pop this here on my inner 
highlighter. I love how subtle this is. Like it's an intense highlighter, but the color right now is perfect for my skin tone. It's not too bright or dark and it's just brightening without being too in your face. Like it's not stealing focus from the smokiness, you know? And then just with my finger, I'm gonna pop it up on the brow, brow bone, not into the brow. Okay, and now I've got like a harsh line. So I'm gonna take my fluffy brush, whatever's left over on it and just blend. Okay, I'm quickly gonna apply my mascara. I'm using the Tarte Maneater Mascara and I use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash for the bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna be applying the Anastasia Fashion Lashes. So my lashes are on. Um, the trick with applying lashes is just to make sure you let that glue get really, really tacky before trying to put it on. I think I probably waited like two minutes before popping it on my eyelash and it should go right on and stick right away. It shouldn't like come up when you let go with the tweezers or whatever lash applicator you're using. For my lips, I'm gonna be using the KKW Beauty Nude 1.5 Lip Liner. I'm gonna line and overline my lips and fill it in with my finger. I'm gonna have to come back. All right, I'm gonna go pick up Jalen from school. I'll be back. Um, actually, really quick, I'm gonna set my face with the setting spray from Morphe, just so this isn't going anywhere while I go pick her up. I will be back in a jiffy. Now I'm back, hour later. I'm gonna go in with the Desi X Katie lipsticks from Dose of Colors. I just don't know which color I want to do. I might mix them together. I have more creamer please and no shade. More creamer please is the darker one. No shade is the lighter one. So yeah, I think I'm just going to mix them together. And now I'm going back into the lip liner to blend them in together. That's like exactly the lip color I was looking for. Quickly going to fix my brow. I feel like it's sort of disappeared a little bit just to give it a little bit more definition this is the final look up close and it's what it looks like after about an hour <laughs> of it sitting on my face um i did just touch up a little bit with some powder on my t-zone just because i get oily so fast but yeah i'm really happy with how this turned out it's very smoky this could work for any time of the year but it's just giving me cool toned fall vibes so i hope you guys enjoyed following along and seeing exactly how I got this look. Let me know what other makeup tutorials you'd like to see from me down below in the comment section and let me know what other videos that aren't makeup related that you'd like to see. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Bye!